So you put Regina King, Dory Lindo, RJ Seiler, Jonathan Mazers, Lakeith Stanfield, Zazie Beats, and one film, Black Excellence. What is up guys, I'm Xavier aka The Film Zen. welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now, the harder they fall, oh my gosh, what a surprising treat this film was. Um, this film is absolutely bonkers crazy. The acting is some of the best like, chemistry um, ensemble acting I've seen in a quite some time now. And yeah, this is definitely a sad ensemble um, win. So the Heart of the Fall follows the story of Jonathan Major's character um, as he seeks vengeance on this man who killed his father um, when he was younger. And a lot of like gang stuff happens on the film, but the screenplay in this film really, really shines. And I wish it was getting some more attention towards the screenplay for the Oscars, but it sadly is not. This is one of the best ensemble screenplays I've ever seen, period. The dialogue of this film is just absolutely f freaking hilarious. Um, and everybody, and I mean everybody in this film absolutely kills it. Um, Idris Elba, Regina King, Jonathan Majors, Ozzy Beats, you know, um, Lakeith Stanfield, they all kill it. In short, um, this is basically one massive acting showcase, right? Um, like I said earlier, people who are in this film, everybody kills it. Um, in my opinion, my opinion. Besides Delroy Lindo and maybe Regina King, everybody gives the best performance in their career in this film. I mean, everybody in this film shines somehow. Even the surprising, some um, surprising names. R.J. Siler is one of them, who was one of my favorite characters in the film, actually. Um, who He just kills it. The dialogue is absolutely hilarious. And the bullet is his name, I believe. I'll put a picture somewhere of him right here. Um, this is his first feature, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this is a Netflix one, by the way. If you can, it's not a requirement watching in theaters. Because this film is, um, it's kind of big, you can say. But there's some like, shootout scenes in the in the film that are just so fun to watch on the big screen. Um, it's also some like, really cool set design this film. It's like a western kind of vibe. So, you know, some pretty good, decent sized like, set constructions. Um, mimicking like a western town and whatnot. Um, there's also some really funny elements that I don't want to spoil for you guys. But yes, overall, this, this room might have seemed a little bit short, but um, I'm telling you guys, this film is, you know, just absolutely crazy. I loved every second of this film. Now, as far as awards go for the Horror Day Fall, I'm not sure if it's getting any Oscar nominations. I, I, I wish it would, because this film is absolutely incredible. The only thing I can possibly see it getting for the Oscars, in all honesty, is um, Idris Elba getting a uh, supporting actor nomination. Um, or even Lakeith Stanfield, because he got it for last year for Judas and Black Messiah. Um, but Idris Elba got some like little talks early on this year about this performance. And he kills it. I love his um, antagonistic role in this film. Um, however, I do see this film getting um, a SAG ensemble nomination. The cast is just too big and too great to not get a nomination. Um, this will be, be alongside like In the Heights, um, the uh, Nightmare Alley can be alongside of, maybe Belfast, um, and yeah, this film's um, oh, House of Gucci as well. Um, so yeah, this film, the like, a, like, a, like I said earlier, the big takeaway is the acting showcase of this film. It's absolutely incredible. It's so fun to watch. Uh, this is one of the best films I've seen um, in recent memory, not gonna lie to you guys, I love, legit loved every second of this film. Um, I'm gonna give it a 9.4 out of 10. I don't have that many complaints. Well, there's one complaint, but it's kind of a spoiler. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about kind of towards the end of the film. Um, but besides that, I love just every second of this film. One of the best crowd pleasers this year. Leave all your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section about the horror they fall. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Oscar nominations number four, I believe, for this year. Um, a lot has changed, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Like always, have a great one.